And I was a freak for Sons of Anarchy, but I had such, I had such a mad crush on the Beast too. When the Beauty and the Beast was on, I was like, oh my God, that guy with the, with the mane. <laughs> It is true that you are some of the most recognizable and unrecognizable characters. Do you have a favorite, a favorite character that you played over the years? Um, let's see. Uh, I was Santa Claus in the Thanksgiving parade. <laughs> uh, Were you really? I used to work no, at Macy's. No, no. I, <laughs> I had to work I didn't know where to go with that one. You know, <laughs> I, I love all my children equally. Um, this, yeah, I bet you think of them as family members, right? I do think of them as family members. You know, they're, when you say yes to, to a role, it's like because you want to go hang out with this dude for a while. You, you want to be that, you yeah. You want to walk in his shoes. You want, you know, you just, or his biker boots. Yeah, or his <laughs> biker boots. By the way, here's a question for you. Yeah. Were you a Jax girl or a Clay girl? Oh, you now, can't, see now. You, you oh. can't be both, man. You, oh. can't, you can't be both. Let's, 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 let's put finish it, the interview. No. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's, All right, let's yeah, have a no, that's, that's good. Let's give it an audience vote. Jax girls? Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Get out of here. I love him. See Play this? girls? Yeah. Yes. You, you won. You won. I don't think so. Stay. <laughs> so, Sons of Anarchy was such a huge show, but I think the weirdest connection. Uh, I ever saw made to the show was when we had on a lady, we gifted her a grant from our foundation, all of our dog and cat food raises money for non-kill shelters. The woman had a shelter for goats and it's called the Goats of Anarchy. And all of the goats are named after characters in the show. Were you aware of this? Did you know no, anything man, about I'm Goats so, of Anarchy? I, I, no, I'm, I'm, I'm still amazed that on Sesame Street they had Sons of Poetry. <laughs> Cool. And they were all bikers, you know, who were like, you know. <laughs> they that, gave poetry that, cool for that, children. There once was a guy from Nantucket. No, no, that's <laughs> a whole different thing. That's a different thing. Well, that kind of segues into something that shocked me. My producer told me today that you used to be a stand-up comedian. Really? Mm, for about five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> we got booked two times. <laughs> One was uh, at the high school uh, dance, and then and then we got, we got actually booked into a, a discotheque in, in the South Bronx. Oh my God. And- How'd um, that go? <laughs> well, that was, you're here. That, that was my final night in, in <laughs> doing stand-up. Uh, it was, I had a partner. His name was Spencer Schwartz. I was Ron Perlman. And we were Stuart and Perry because if, you know, it wasn't, wasn't <laughs> hip to be Jewish back then. <laughs> so, so anyway, we're doing our thing. We're doing a, the best George Carlin you've ever seen, <laughs> unless you're actually seeing George Carlin. And uh, we get a, you know, this is the South Bronx, so there's a whole group of girls in the front, and they're just having a great time. They think we're so funny, and there's a whole bunch of their dates back there. <laughs> the last three rows, like. And so somebody heckles us, and we heckle back. Oh, man. And, and there's three rows of dudes, like, stand up as if they're one and start toward the stage. Oh, man. And uh, luckily there was a, a back door. <laughs> Which you used. And a taxi going by. <laughs> we actually got in the taxi while he was doing 30 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah. And that was my last You're night. You're like, please just take us! 